All right, a live look for you at Capitol Hill. We're going to listen in now. James Comer, as promised, is giving that news conference. He just read that document from the FBI. Let's listen in. And is currently being used in an ongoing investigation. The confidential human source who provided information about then Vice President Biden being involved in a criminal bribery scheme is a trusted, highly credible informant who has been used by the FBI for over 10 years and has been paid over six figures. These are facts and know about a spin and frankly lies from the White House or congressional Democrats can change this information. At the briefing, the FBI again refused to hand over the unclassified record to the custody of the House Oversight Committee. And we will now initiate contempt of Congress hearings this Thursday. Given the severity and complexity of the allegations contained within this record, Congress must investigate further. Americans have lost trust in the FBI's ability to enforce the law impartially and demand answers, transparency, and accountability. The investigation is not dead. This is only the beginning. It appears this investigation is part of an ongoing investigation, which I assume is in Delaware. The Oversight Committee will follow the, follow the facts and be transparent to the American people with our findings. I'll be happy to answer a couple questions. Yes, sir. Are we talking about, Congressman Comer, are we talking about this one document or are we talking about several documents? And what could these documents actually hold? Could they end up showing more Biden family business dealings with other countries? This document was dated, I think you all know this, from the subpoena, July 30th, 2020. The claims made in the document are consistent with what we found and disclosed to you all in Romania. It suggests a pattern of bribery where payments would be made through shell accounts and multiple banks there's a term for that, it's called money law. And that, again, is what the, the majority of the suspicious activity reports also said. So we feel that this accusation is consistent with a pattern that we're seeing, frankly, in other countries. Chair, in multiple yes. documents? We believe there are multiple documents. Mr. Chair, yes. why do you need the document at hand? You just got a chance to view it. So why do you need it and why move forward with the FBI says they're cooperating in a good thing. Well, if, let's just look at what, what I've read in a lot of the media accounts uh, and, and with statements that Ian Sams has made from the White House that, you know, there's no merit to this, this is crazy, this is a conspiracy theory. And, and I'm, you're just supposed to take my word or, or, or the FBI's word, I'm supposed to take the FBI's word that they're investigating this or that uh, you know, you're going to write that the source is unverified, whatever. Remember, the, the, the main reason they're not wanting to make this public is because they're concerned about the source, the highly credible, and I've read that in a lot of outlets, the highly credible source that's been with the, been with the uh, Bureau since the Obama administration. One, one, more, one, one more question, one more question. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Palmer. Um, <clears throat> In addition to initiating contempt proceedings, do you plan to, um, or do you expect in the near future, refer criminal charges to the DOJ despite the DOJ? Right now, we are going to. We want the we want the form 1023. We believe, uh, due to the fact that it is not classified, this is not a classified document. That uh, this is an important part of our investigation and uh, we want to have this document in hand. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. 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 All I know is there's an ongoing investigation. They confirm there's an ongoing investigation using this information. I assume that ongoing investigation is in Delaware. I don't know that. But I assume that. Can you break what that? Why that's your assumption? I'm sorry. Can you break that? Why that's your assumption, or what information you have to support that? 
to that one more time. Can you break down why that's your assumption and what information you have to support that, that it's based in Delaware? I assume it's Delaware. I'll put it like that. What country is foreign national? Mr. Chair, I, Mr. Chair, could yes. you take notes today? Were you able to take notes in there? I took notes on the unclassified portion, but then there was a classified portion I didn't take. And, on the, and do you want to have follow-up briefings from the FBI on this? Uh, again, the you, ball's in the FBI's court. Thank you all very much. Mr. We've been listening to Congressman James Comer, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, who just emerged from that uh, skiff, uh, that secured room where he got to take a look at the document, or was supposed to take a look at the document, but he told us that the FBI refused to present the document, the one that allegedly deals with this. Uh, he said, I'm going to be very careful about how I say this, what alludes to money laundering, this bribery scheme that's been talked about a lot involving Joe Biden, then Vice President Joe Biden, and Comer also saying that they will move forward with contempt charges on Thursday for Christopher Ray for not providing these documents. Yeah, he said that these are the facts, that this is a trusted high-level source who is in this uh, document. And he says the document, from what he sees, the claims made in this document are consistent and suggest a pattern of bribery. Mm. Um, obviously, this is a massive development now with the contempt of Congress uh, hearing actually being put on the books for Thursday.